Live from Las Vegas, Fox 5 News This Morning starts now. Less than 60 seconds, 60 years of history gone. We are live with all the angles of this morning's implosion as we say a final farewell to the Riviera. A thief in broad daylight not only was Big Brother watching, so was the neighborhood. See how they teamed up to bust this bad guy. All right, I'll take a strawberry. No, 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 black and white. No, 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 caramel. Would that be all for you, sir? Yes. Why does she got to be so difficult? Good morning. I'm Mike Toria. <laughs> Shake Shack is celebrating a milestone today. I'm going to tell you what it is and what you can get for free at both locations today. Uh, pot, the kettle's calling. <laughs> yeah, Mike Doria's on the line. Exactly. <laughs> can you imagine being... <laughs> Dealing with Doria. All yeah, right. Well, all we right. do every day. What do you mean? We don't have to imagine it. Well, good morning, and thanks for the memories, yeah. Riviera. The Hotel Casino is no uh, more. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave Hall. And I'm Maria. So welcome to Fox 5 News this morning. Yeah, check that out behind us. The remaining buildings came tumbling down at about 2.30 this morning, and we were there with several different angles, along with Fox Vice Peter Dawson, who's been there since, so God knows what time. And uh, you had a great point of view. How's it going out there, my friend? Uh, it's going really good. Uh, yeah, Luis and I had the best vantage, vantage point. We're on top of the Marriott, and just to see it coming coming down for the second time was just fantastic. But I think it's kind of funny. It's like the casino that just won't go away, you know, two implosions for one casino. But, you know, many people uh, showed up, not as many as the the Monaco Tower in June, but the people that, that we spoke with, they were happy to see, um, to have a second opportunity to say goodbye to the Riviera. Sixty years of dust filling the air. I'm kind of scared to find out what's actually in there. The dust spread all the way from Circus Circus all the way to the West Gate. That price tag for these implosions, $42 million. And the people with the best, best vantage point, you can see them running to their cars. But we went down there just to see what people thought of the implosion. And, well, they had mixed emotions seeing the Riviera come tumbling down. I love how they didn't do any fanfare or, uh, or uh, countdown or anything. They just, they just did it at 2.30 and they went. I hope that our convention center expands over here and that there's more work for everybody and that, that there's more stuff going on here. And that's the plan. The $1.4 billion uh, project is going to be in several phases and take several years. And that's what the LVCVA wanted. They wanted to expand the convention center from Paradise and Convention Center all the way to Las Vegas Boulevard. And now they have that. They have a window to the strip. And for the last 22 years, we have been the convention center destination city. And they want to hold that title with cities like uh, Pittsburgh and San Diego, Miami. Well, they all want to take our business. And and the LVCVA is, you know, spending money imploding properties like this to make sure that we are the number one destination city. But uh, Luis and I, we had a great vantage point, and it's just, it's a, it's a thrill just to hear the explosions and to see it come tumbling down. Yeah, I love your excitement now. Peter, the first time around, it was just one tower. This time it was a tower and the casino as well? Yeah, actually, it was three buildings. It was the, the main tower, the Monte Carlo Tower, and a smaller tower, I'm not sure the name of that, and that front facade, that iconic glass facade. The neon came down just a few days ago, the final piece of neon, and I'm, I'm sure that's going to the Boneyard right now. But, uh, yeah, three towers came tumbling down all at once. So the Riviera is no moss, and once the sun comes up, we're going to have a great vantage point of all that rubble, and we're definitely going to show that to you. All right, Peter Dawson, live for us. Thank you, Peter. Okay. Now that the Riviera is a pile of rubble, the it. Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority is ready to clear it all away to make way for new convention center space. I mean, we've been the number one convention city in, in North America for 22 consecutive years. We want to make sure that we continue to stay that number one convention city. So our facility has to live up to what the people expect on a visit to Las Vegas. 
The LVCVA hopes the $42 million makeover will keep existing clients coming and bringing in some new ones. The site clearing project is expected to wrap up early next spring. The LVCVA says it's working with the Neon Museum and local collectors to preserve the most iconic parts, including some signs and other pieces of the RIV property.